Hi everyone, welcome to another Phoenix online tutorial. So today we're going to look at Pumse Kungan. So Pumse Kungan is the pattern that you need for your third darn black belt. Okay, so we're going to start the pattern as normal. So chariot. And then five seconds to prepare yourself. Chumbi. Slowly lifting up and down. Okay, so the first part of Kungan, moving down the hall is performed quite quickly with quite a lot of energy. So our first move is going to be this wedging block. So from Chumbi, my whole body, my core, forwards, wedging block, and then one, two, three, palm hill strikes. Okay, we're gonna do it step by step, but in, real, in reality, this is done quite rapidly. Okay, we're ready, so that's a wedging block. Hana. So the wedging block should be equal with the two shoulders, shoulder width apart, so not too wide, okay, not too high. We've got a palm heel strike to the chin. Hana. Do. Set. Then we're moving backwards. So we came forward in front stance, a nice narrow front stance. Like I said, pushing your core forwards. Now we're going to go backwards in back stance, make this knife hand middle block. Before we start moving back, we're going to prepare that hand and then step back in back stance, land that block the same time as our foot lands on the ground. Hana. Do. Set. Okay, now, the main part of this pattern, kumgam, is the diamond block. So these are quite difficult. It takes a lot of practice, a lot of balance. What we're going to do, we're going to go from our back stance and we're going to bring our, our leg up to our knee here and our other hands are going to be on my hip and on my shoulder. And then from this position, we're going to make a low block and a high block. So take eight seconds. It'd be one, two, three. When I get to four, I turn my head five, six, seven, eight. So when my arm passes my face on count number four is when I start turning my head. Okay, then we're going to chamber it for the side punch. Okay, so especially younger people, these children as well, this foot straight from your back stance up to your knee, okay? Some older people, right, more mature between us, we can bring our foot here, then up to our knee. But I really would like everyone to try just this one first of all, okay? So practice, try and get to that, that foot to your knee rapidly and then start your count. And Shijak, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chain by the punch, and ah. Bang. So this punch, this side punch in horse riding stance, make sure your toes are pointing towards the front, looking in the direction of the punch. Head position is really important in Kungan. So from here, we stay looking to the side, stay looking to the side, bang. This punch here is this just protruding past, my, um, past the side of my body here. Other hand, your hip, horse riding stance, looking straight down that punch. From there, we're going to spin into another um, another, another side punch. When we spin, we're about walking stance apart. Bang, bang. Head direction is really important. Hana. Bang, bang. Good. Okay, so next move now from that hinge punch position, we're going to lift up at our foot again in front of our bodies. Our other hand underneath our armpit, we're going to come down. Mountain block. Okay, down the side of the hall. Again, my hands about equal to the top of my head, and most importantly, my head looking in the direction of that block. Okay, don't forget, a key up on this as well. And now. Hey! So, ideally, tops of these hands equal with the tops of the head, making sure they're not off in any particular direction. So they're in a straight line, full swing stance, really direct looking straight down. Okay, moving forwards, gonna come into Horse riding starts again, we're going to make a wedging block. And now, bang. So we move the, the left foot, so when we make this wedging block, the left hand's in front of our body. Okay, so left foot moves, left hand in front. Shoulder height again, not too wide. So it should be able to push, it should be nice and strong here, okay? So from this horse riding stance, this wedging block, again, we're moving our left foot back to parallel stance, so our left arm is going to move, cross in front, and just come down five seconds, wedging block, double wedging block. Ready? And now, 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so no tense at the end, just nice and relaxed. Coming back down the hall again, so we can move from that wedging block. Another mountain block, so hand under, stamp as you land, looking in the direction of the um, travel. And up. Good. Okay. So now we're going to move back across the hall. So we've got another diamond block. This one's the most difficult. So you really have to position your body properly here. Make sure you turn your body to the front and then bring your hands up, ready to start the diamond block. Eight seconds. One, two, three, four. Turn your head. Five, six, seven, eight. And shijak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chamber the punch and side punch, bang. Spin, side punch, do. Bam. Okay, now this time we've got another diamond block, but you notice this time we've already got our head in that direction, so this, for our, this time for our eight seconds, we don't have to move ahead. We keep looking um, to the right, so we bring our feet up, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then chamber the punch. Make sure this supporting leg as well is bent. Okay, so you shouldn't really be resting your foot on your knee. Okay, should be against your knee, but not actually resting on it. Okay, eight seconds. Shijak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Chamber, punch, go. Bang. Quick step, side punch, door. Bang. Okay, mountain block now with that key up. And up. Wedging block, this time with your right hand in front, do. So again, you see that move there, you moved your right foot, so your right hand has to come in front of your left side. Moving back now to parallel stance, right hand in front, roll down your wrists here, five seconds, nice and slow, wedging block. And now, one, two, three, four, five. Moving back down the hall, another mountain block with that stamp there. And ah. Okay, now coming back, nearly finished. So we came back from that mountain block now. Swivel our foot round, bring it up for that diamond block. Eight seconds again, chamber, punch. So diamond block, and ah. One, two, three, turn your head. Five, six, seven, eight. Chamber the punch, one, two, bang. So again, remember this punch, just protruding past the front of the body, equal with your solar plexus, where the badge is on your uniform. Last move, when you spin again, nice and fast, about walking stance apart, look in that direction. Really important to look in that direction when you finish the pattern. And up, bang, good. And then, paddle. And chill up. And Kanye. Great, so that's um, Kumgon. Uh, so again, key points on Kumgon. Really that diamond block you've got to practice here. Just balancing, maybe you can jump up and down, bend your knees like this just to practice, okay? So if you can hold it for 10 seconds or 20 seconds, then you can hold it for eight, okay? So keep practicing that. So that's all. Again, thank you very much for joining us and we'll see you next time.